Mobile about to swing. 22.40 is the distance. Set at Melton. Green lights on. And they're racing. Kiang Zahara began well and is certainly forward enough early. Jellaby Ballerini had the inside running, was able to get past No Telling Heather and with a plom. Out deeper is Link in bio. Kiang Zahara just in between runners there. Into that first turn and still balancing up. Uh, now she is balancing up and is about to head past Jellaby Ballerini. So the favourite takes it up. Kiang Zahara trots clear of Link in bio, who's on the outside of Jellaby Ballerini. And Violet Stanford got a really good run through with Nathan Jack and ends up one out, one back. In fifth possession is No Telling Heather. Next on the outside is Maori's Mac. As Violet Stanford now hooks out to go around Lincoln Bio, they just backed off the speed a little bit. Four back the inside is with a plom. On the outside of her is Centurion Dream. And then all that remains from Pinney. And drifting back from a whitish gate was Dreams of Love. And Karakajak uh, Tooth is about 20 metres away last. Lead time, 47-1. And it's been pretty comfortable for Kiang Zahara. She gets into a good rhythm now and she's five metres to Violet Stanford who's only ever been beaten once in her life and that was by Kiang Zahara. Leaders back is Jillaby Ballerini, Lincoln Bio one out one back and then no telling Heather fifth on the inside as they pass the 1200. Next is Maori's Mac and then with a plom along the pegs from Centurion Dream and then all that remains. Third last is Penny. Karakajak Tooth on the inside of Dreams of Love. They have a circuit to go. First quarter in 32, so more than comfortable for Kiang Zahara. She's going for nine out of nine and leads four metres on Violet Stanford. Leaders back is Jillaby Ballerini. Three back along the pegs, no telling here. The Lincoln Bio 1-1. One, one. Then Mary's Mac on its inside is with a plom as they pass the 800 with the second quarter in 31-1. Further back in the field, Centurion Dream and then came All That Remains. Penny third last from Karakajak Tooth and at the tail of the field is Dreams of Love. Along the back straight though and it's Kiang Zahara with Jason Lee about four metres in front. She starts to wind it up now from Jillaby Ballerini and Violet's Stanford, and then no telling Heather from Lincoln Bio and Maori's Mac, but Kiang Zahara passes the 400 metres. 28.5 third quarter. She led five metres, Jillaby Bellarini, Violet Stanford's under pressure, and then no telling Heather, but around the turn, it's Kiang Zahara. She's in full flight now, and she's putting a gap on them. Kiang Zahara into the straight. She charges away this very special unit. Three-year-old trotting filly, and she is poetry in motion. She's going to absolutely brain them. 25 minutes metres. Second goes to Jellaby Ballerini. Third, Maori's Mac and fourth, no telling Heather. Then came with a plom from Violet Stanford, Lincoln Bio and Penny. Centurion Dream, all that remains. And then Dreams of Love and Karakajak Tooth. Final quarter, 26.5, if you don't mind. 158.8, the uh, mile rate for Elder Baron Park. Goodness me, she is one speedy trotter, is Kiang Zahara, 26-5 home. Look, she was entitled to a 47-2 lead, a 32 first quarter and a 31-1 second quarter. She was entitled to dash home like that, Bronte, but that was impressive. 26-5 is almost probably more impressive than the race we saw earlier in the derby where they came home in 25-9 in the pacing event. That's incredible. And look, she did it easy. Jason's just looking at the camera, puts his hand up for the whip. She's just an absolute beast. She's so beautiful. She's a beautiful looking horse, Michael Gear. And that speed, that change up speed we spoke of, just left them in her dust. That's as easy as a group one as you'll see. Yeah, she'll hit to New Zealand now and her next race is going to be half a million. It's a slot race. Half a million for a three-year-old trotter and then she has the option to stick around for the oaks there and then a derby so look she's long odds on to win all three of those races so she might have a triple crown coming up trying to emulate the other victorian of course just believe but yep